All right, all right, Shalom. First off, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstones, and Shalom to you, brothers, that's preaching this word in sincerity and truth. We just uh, wanted to do a um, brief, uh, a brief in transit lesson, you know, basically circling around what today is, all right, which which today we are in the Day of Atonement, where, where you, um, you afflict your souls, all right, you fast, okay, fast from food and water. And really fasting from from uh, any flesh fleshly pleasures, you know, whether you like uh, like to certain look at fights or whatever. Jake like to watch sports, certain things, you know. You just refrain from ultimately denying yourself, you know. Go, it all goes back and um, and into uh, denying yourselves, and ultimately it goes back to the laws and statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So you know, from um, uh, we we're we're already in the uh, the mist. Of the Day of Atonement, okay, it ends at this evening, which today is the 30th of Wednesday, all right? It started yesterday, the 29th of evening, um, and, it, and it goes up into today, to the, to the 30th, which today is Wednesday, so it ends this evening, all right? So we are in the Day of, of, of Atonement, okay? So yeah, first, we, um, we're going to start off with this scripture right here, all right? This is Leviticus chapter 23, verse 27, also... On the tenth day of this seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. It shall be a holy convocation unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls, and offer an offering made by fire by fire unto the Lord Yahweh. That's right. Uh, and, um, and the Apostle Tahar was going into this on his live, on the live episode they did. You know, when you look into the word, basically, uh, when you look into the word afflict, when you afflict your souls. It goes back into the word um, Ana, you know, and I'll, I'll look I'll look it up just for the, uh, for the edification, you know. Bear with me for a second as I look it up. Uh, fucking phone, yeah, there we go. Uh, yep, Ana, okay. For that word afflict, uh, says to afflict, oppress, humble be afflicted be bowed down you know and it's yeah and and you denying yourself of um food water all right things that that the body uh needs to sustain itself that's that's uh you humbling yourself okay that's you afflicting yourself you know because it's not a it's not an easy thing when you go into the the book of limitation it says uh um um, well, him, like well it's, basically it's somebody that has to starve to death. Yeah, so that's that the worst. That's the worst death, you know, to be slain uh, uh, by the, by hunger. Okay, so it's a it's a afflicting thing, you know, and it's a um, it's an honorable thing in the eyes of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, for you to afflict yourself, okay, for righteousness' sake. All right, that's what this is all about. We're uh, these trials and tribulations is about us being afflicted for righteousness' sake, man. For this truth, for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, so let me uh, finish off in this uh, Leviticus. All right, Leviticus twenty-three and twenty-seven. Also on the day, on the tenth day of this seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. It shall be an holy convocation unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord Yahweh. And ye shall do no work in that same day, for it is the day of atonement to make an atonement for you before the Lord Yahweh your power. That's right. So brothers can um, manage to have the day off. All right. Because you don't want to because because according to the scriptures, man, if it's all possible, you know, we don't supposed to be working. All right. We're in captivity. So, hey, man, push, color, shove. Jay got to do what he got to do. You know, you still you still, uh, you know, maintain uh, afflicting your soul in the midst of in the midst of slaving. You know, may it may Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai be with you. You know, that's hey, that's just a part of the trials. OK. Uh, you you want to ask him? Okay, yeah. So it says, um, and ye shall do no work in that same day, for it is a day of atonement to make an atonement for you before the Lord. Yeah, how will your power? That's right. Atone. Yeah. Go ahead. Go oh, ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like? I'm pretty sure you was about to say it, making an atonement yep. for your sins. That's right. Because like you know, Jake, we we live in the flesh and we're not perfect like Yahweh I was in the flesh. So we we go off. We we have we have shortcomings in the flesh because like the scriptures say, we we do things. We're like our our flesh is constantly battling against the spirit, so we don't do everything that we would like to do in the spirit. Yep. But with the day of atonement is a day for us to, like it says that the brother just read, 
to make an atonement for all of, all of our shortcomings and to try to humble ourselves before Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, showing that we we would sincerely want to be right. Yeah. And we so we afflicting ourselves to show Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai that we humbling ourselves before Him. That's right. It says, and ye shall do. Uh, it says, and ye shall. Oh yeah, I read that part. I'll read it again. And ye shall do no work in that same day, for it is a day of atonement to make an atonement for you before the Lord Yahweh your power. For who, for whatsoever soul it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day, he shall be cut off from among his people. Yeah, you, you guys, that's uh, like, like the clown last year, man. We, we, we scoff at him, man. Uh, Gold Coast, all right. Clifford Harris, man. Uh, uh T.I.P. ass nigga, man. You know, this dude did a video talking about the Day of Atonement is a day of uh, a feast and not and not uh, and not fast. You know, which is which is way off, man. That's a doctrine of Satan, you know, and then he called himself after after making that video after Satan hopped on him, you know, and brothers got on his his helmet, the edifying videos, man. Them demons left him and he he called himself trying to repent, man. It's too late, you know, after making after making a bold statement like that, man, a false one at that, you know, you didn't condemn yourself, the guy in the video with you and whoever took heed to you. All right. Because this is something very serious, you know. Just because we're in the, in the grace period, that don't mean you have liberty to be a demon, you know. It's this not is a cloak of maliciousness. That's right. Like the scriptures say, use, use, uh, don't use this grace time as a as a cloak of maliciousness, man. Just to do, hey man, just to be a demon, you know. The scriptures say we shall rehearse the righteous acts, all right, in the place of drawing waters where we at right now in the place of slavery, you know. So so that's what we're doing, going uh, uh with, with 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 today, all right. We're, we're, we're humbling ourselves before the sight of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, afflicting our souls. Okay? It says, uh, for, for whatsoever soul it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day, he shall be cut off from among his people. And whatsoever soul it be that doeth any work in that same day, the same soul will I uh, destroy from among his people. He shall do no manner of work, it shall be a statue forever. Throughout your generations and all your dwellings. So this is something we still supposed to be keeping to this very day, every year, even in even in this captivity that we're living in now. Because you'll have certain people out there saying like, "Oh, that was back then," and in the old times, like like you know, people that go to like the nigger churches, they'll say like certain things don't apply to now because that was written for back then. It's the, it says it's forever. Yep. And so it still applies to this day, just like everything written in the scripture still applies. It's not anything that don't apply today. Just because it was written back then doesn't mean that it's not written for our time right now. That's right. That's right. That's right. Brother Sand is, is very on point, man. You know, and this is all a part of uh, um, this is a part of our duty. All right. Uh, yeah, I got I got a precept for that. Yeah, go ahead. Get it's, in, uh, bro. This Ecclesiastes 12. That's the spirit, man. And uh, and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Spirit. Fear the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Yep, you could elaborate. And that's, yeah, this 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 the whole duty of man. And what is the one of the commandments? The brother just read that um, following having a day of atonement. Yep, it's commanded, it's a commanded that we keep this forever. Yep. This is one of the things that we're commanded to do, among many other things. That's right. So we supposed to be like this day is like a, a, a serious day because you were making an atonement for our sins, man. Because when none of us, like I said earlier, none of us are perfect. We st we always go off at some point in time. We we strive to be perfect, yet we don't. We have shortcomings because we're in the flesh and we living in this society. Yeah, the scriptures say we all fell uh, short of the glory of the Most High, man. You yeah. Know? yeah. So make the day of atonement is a, a, day, a way of us making an atonement for all of our shortcomings and, sh and humbling ourselves before Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, showing that we sincerely want to do the right thing. Okay. That's right. Uh, I got a precept backing that up. This is Romans 12 and 1. I beseech ye therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High. That's right, because the Lord is showing mercy upon us, man, by giving us this knowledge, by giving, giving us a shot at salvation, man. There's Go knowledge. There's yep. A lot of people don't know this knowledge. Like even even knowing the the um, the basics, mm -hmm. knowing that is more than knowing is knowing more than anybody else in this society. Hell yeah. Because everybody else is out here lost. So even knowing the base so-called basics, 
it's still taking you way further than somebody that doesn't know shit. Yep. That don't know anything, man. Because the, not knowing anything is worse than knowing very little. Because at least you, the person that knows a little, if you apply it, you still held in more regard than the person that don't. Yep. Isaiah 33 and 6. Those basics is going to keep you st uh, stable in this time to come, man. These these top, these dudes who, who think they're so deep, all right? Or they know they know it all, these niggas. Hey, man, they're, hey, you're going to watch them fall, all right? They're going to panic. Many, right. many of them have fallen Like yeah. the apostles and brothers always go into The dudes who fell out A lot of them, they was the ones that knew all the precepts Knew knew all the breakdowns They can go into this, go into that But they wasn't applying everything that they knew And sure. they still they were still doing things That going off behind the scenes yep. And they was proud they pride, that, that knowledge made them puff them up And the Lord hates pride That's right So they had the Lord spewed them out that's right. So it's not about it's not about knowing everything. It's about doing the, being right with y'all by Shimmy Yahweh Shai and sincerely trying to do the right thing yep. because it is the right thing to do. That's right, man. Yep. It's about serving the most high in spirit and truth, man. You know, not not trying to be that that guy. Alright. Not a man pleaser. Yeah. Basically trying to be looked at as something special in front of other people. You're supposed to be worried about what Yahweh about Shimmy Yahweh Shai thinks first and foremost. Not trying to do things so everybody else be like, oh man, he's a, he's a top guy, this and that. No, nah, man, you're supposed to just do it because it's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Cause our hey, it's like the parable said, we 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 did the, we did what was our reasonable service. Yeah. Hey, well, it, we I it says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Yeah, so so we're a hey man. Our we're we're um we're we're presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice. All right, we're sacrificing this uh this world, the things that we 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 like. You know what I mean? You know, Jake like things. All right, and, and just like today, just like we go on Saturdays. All right, and this is no longer our life. You know, yeah. How this is Yahweh Shai's uh, uh, life, man. We we were redeemed by Yahweh Shai, and and um. Hey man, that come that, that that comes with a cost. All right, that's why you're supposed to count the cost. You know, you you're you're um, you're you're uh, uh, investing your time in this in this thing, man. You know, so you hey man, you gonna have to count the cost. This world coming up against you, demons plaguing you. All right, Esau rolling on you. You know, your faith being tried to the very end. You know, you you have to you have to lay that to heart. All right. You denying your flesh, okay? To ultimately overcome this flesh, man. Like Yahweh Shai did. Alright? And that hey man, that's a part that's a part of our, our reasonable service, like today. Denying den denying yourself of food and water, things that are pleasing unto the flesh. Just like the scriptures say, uh, men should not live off of uh bread and water alone. Well, uh I don't I don't want to uh, quote it wrongly, I'll, I'll bring it out. If you had a precept too, you can you know. I have a short one. It's a. Uh, this is a. Uh, this is a. Uh, James 2 and 14. It says, What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he have faith and have not works? Can faith save him? Huh. So you gotta have both. You know, yep. showing your faith through your, through your works. Because you can't, like the scripture says, can faith just save you if you you say you believe, but you're not like you, people claim that they believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. They still shaving their beard, to getting lineups, eating pork, doing all these things that's contrary to the scriptures. How can you say you have faith if your works are not showing that? Because yep. if you have faith, you'll do it. Just like if you have faith, you'll keep the the, uh, the holy days that that's written in the scripture. Yep. The high holy days. It's like the Day of Atonement is the, one of the holy days. You got it's a it's a day that you're supposed to fast. So if you if you have faith, you're going to show it through you actually afflicting your soul, like the scriptures say you're supposed to do. Yeah, and being occupied, just just occupy your mind in these scriptures like you're supposed to. Be occupied in the spirit, and you're not going to think upon the carnal. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, this and that, my stomach growling. You know, when you like really, really uh, meditate in the spirit, you actually forget that you haven't eaten. You know. That that this you have more. I'll jump to uh, 17. Let me 
jump to verse 17 even so faith if it have not works is dead being alone so if you have faith and like i was saying if you're not doing what you showing your faith through your works then your faith is dead yep. because you're not you're not really you don't really have faith because if you did you would do you would do what you're supposed to do keeping the law statutes and commandments when it, today's the day of atonement so you'll be holding it to the best of your ability like the brother said, if you can, if you can manage to miss work, you would do that just because you wanna you wanna do it to as much as possible, like correctly, as correctly as much as you possibly can. Yeah. As far as not doing any work and not doing anything and just like just mainly being in the spirit the whole day. Kind. Yeah. Not thinking about you missing out on on money or this and that, which is not even real money, you know. Hey man, it's hey. This is real money. This is yeah. Knowledge, this knowledge is money, man. That's right. The scriptures say it's worth. It's, it can't be compared to riches that's in this world, man. Yep. This knowledge is way more valuable than anything you can receive on this earth. That's right. That's why we're gonna be like the scriptures say. We're gonna have that fame when the society collapses because this knowledge is what's really valuable. Yep. Because everybody don't have this and everybody don't believe in it. It's only a small sanctuary like the scriptures say that's gonna be saved. So we're we're this knowledge is valuable, man. And the men that ha have it are valuable. That's right, man. Kind uh, it's the precept I, I quoted earlier, you know. Hey, man, because really, uh, um, we're being fed through this word, all right? This is sustaining us, man, you know, in our everyday walk, all right? This is the comforter, all right? This is, this is what comfort our souls, man. This is St. Luke chapter 4, verse 4. And Yahweh Shai answered him saying, It is written... That man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of the Most High. That's right, man. You want you want that? Oh uh, yeah, like when Yahweh Shai fasted forty yep. days and forty nights. Straight up, he didn't have no no water, no food. He, he was, was at his out weak there. point. He was at his weakest point. That's why Satan came to try to tempt him. Yep. But he stayed in the spirit. What did he do when Satan came at him? He stayed in the spirit and battled him with the scriptures. That's right. We only fasted for one day compared to forty days, which Yahweh Shai did. That's nothing. Yep. That's a real light thing Doing like just 24 hours That's really nothing So you should be able to do to do that at the least Yeah and and then who, Who's to say when all hell break loose man You know How long Hey hey Because the chip is going to be made mandatory Jake going to be on the run Food is not going to be a guarantee Though the Lord say he's going to take care of his servant, servants Yeah the Lord is going to continue providing for us at the same time That doesn't mean that the Lord is not going to continue testing us yeah. You know so you have to you have to uh, take that into consideration, man. You know, conquering this flesh more and more. You know, uh, uh, um, um, having faith, man. Yeah, having faith, man. That the Lord, even though that say if you are starving for a couple of days, you ain't gonna die. You just gotta have faith. The Lord, at the end of the day, gonna come through and provide you with a meal that will sustain you and keep you keep you going. Because yep. you can survive for a long time, like on that uh, that sh one show called Naked and Afraid. Yeah, you got they got to survive 21 days on the island. They be going. Some of them they'll go like almost the whole 21 days, not even having nothing to eat. Yep. But they can still survive. Yep. So you can do you can do the same thing. That shows you that you can survive without eating anything. Yeah, because hey, Esau's a damn demon, man. He just puts he just throws that he just throws that uh, that false knowledge out there. To mess with you simple people Because you're going to eat it up man You're going to believe everything that Esau says Hey Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah Is the, law, uh, the author of life and death man You know he can, he can keep your spirit in you man And cause cause you to be sustained man You know And, and just like the uh, our past uh, our past uh, forefathers The prophets Alright They have been they, they were put in uh, in predicaments man Where their faith was, te was tested Where they went without food and what Yahweh Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai always came through for them, man. And that's what we have to look back on, um, look back on, and to strengthen us, man, to comfort us, man. You know, mm -hmm. these are not just fairy tales. This is this these are true events that actually happen, and true events that are going to come to pass here here in America, here in Babylon, and across the four corners of the earth, man. You know, these are prophecies. You know. Oh, I got something. Okay. Uh, I gotta grab it real quick. Uh, Romans chapter 15 verse 4 for whatsoever things were written aforetime yep, were, were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope that's right so just like that's exactly backing up what the bro was saying like that's why the things in the scriptures are written there just like our forefathers 
and our um, the other past prophets, they they went times where our people. It was times where our people fasted and stuff, trying to seek the Lord, and just like Yahweh Shai, he fasted. It's different accounts of people fasting in the scriptures. Ezra's fasted for for uh for more breakdowns, you know, a, deeper knowledge. Yeah, deeper understanding. So it's like it's written a four time for our learning, man, and it's it's written there for patience and um, for our, to comfort us, man, and give us hope. Yep. So those times that we out there going without food, you can just reflect. Oh man, I wish I did forty days without nothing. Ezra's he did. He was fasting to get deeper knowledge and understanding. You you fasting and being if you get afflicted or whatever you go through, you just gotta reflect back to the scriptures, man. Yep. Because what's written a four time is written for our learning, and it gives us hope, like the scriptures say. That's right, man. Yeah, man. And, and, and that's what we have. You know, we're, we're prisoners of hope. All right? Yeah. We're putting all our eggs into one basket. This truth. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot. And this, this society, it teaches you not to do that. It tells you don't put your all your eggs in one basket. It yeah, tells you to have, B, have yeah. a plan B, C, D, all these other plans. Just basically just bug yourself out worrying about so many different things. Be faithless. Yeah, basically, yeah. Be faithless. Don't trust in anything. That's what this society teaches you. Trust in yourself. And that's that's going off. You're supposed to put all your eggs in one basket, uh, believing in your how about shimmy out shy, man. That's the basket you're supposed to put all your eggs into. Yep. Because we don't have any other any other thing that's gonna save us, man. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you had all the money in the world, you had a big ass uh a, a doomsday shelter or prep or all that other stuff that people are doing, all that is not gonna save you. Only thing that's gonna save you is this word and your how about shimmy out shy. Yep. That's right, man. Yeah. Um, hey bro, had, you had anything else you want to add in? I ain't had, I ain't had nothing else. Yeah, so you know, man, hopefully this is edifying to you brothers, you know. So we're not doing this for nothing, all right? Our forefathers, all right, they didn't do they didn't do none of this for nothing. It, hey man, you're not hey the Lord the Lord don't uh matter of fact, I wanna grab that scripture if I can uh off the top of my head. Bear with me for a second, I can while I find the scripture. Not on. Yeah, we're not doing this for nothing, like the brother was saying, because like the past prophets, they asked the Lord, like, what, what shall we receive if, if we give up everything to follow after you? And he told them, you go, we're going to receive twofold, or we're going to receive way more than what, what we have in this society, man. Jews, who, brothers who want women, you're going to get plenty of women in the kingdom. You're going to get plenty of good food, plenty of yeah, money, plenty of, plenty of uh, wealth. Yeah, rich, real, real, real wealth, wealth, real food, real women. All right, everything is going to be organic. Yeah, you're going to get everything. You, you want kids, you're going to have plenty of children. All right, real family, real brotherly love, real family like that can actually get along without fighting and shit like they do on this side. Everything's going to be... Like this, like the bro, bro um, always go into the scripture and songs. Like it's gonna be forever more pleasures, man. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, Hebrews chapter six, verse ten. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward His name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. That's right. Because hey, man, this is this is a part. This is a part of the works, man. You know, like the brother was going into, faith without works is dead, and vice versa. We're putting our faith and our works together, man. All right, cause they 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 collect uh they they um what's that word uh, uh not collaborate, but they basically um uh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, it's lucky the word gets away from me. They complement each other. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, man, the Lord is not is not uh, unrighteous. All right. To forget, he's not gonna turn a blind eye to to brothers afflicting their souls today, man. To brothers doing these shows week in and week out, all right, denying their flesh, all right, you know, uh, 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 denying their lives, you know, going out on the highways and hedges, uh, 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 chiefly Saturdays, you know, when brothers go out, all right. Hey, this is our life, all right, and this is our reasonable service. And the Lord don't take this lightly, man. He's he's jotted down like, okay. This brother, this brother's uh, fasting himself. All right, this the brother's it down. yeah. The angels are jotting it down, man. You're a hey, man. Lord's will. You how about Shmi Yahushua right desire from the apostles and elders on down, man. Our our names are written in heaven, man. You know, so this is a very huge thing that we're doing. All right, in our everyday walk through this through these trials, man. 
So it says, for the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. That's right, man. Can we, hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai love us and we love him back, man. And thus forth, us, us doing what's commanded of us, man. Yeah. Showing forth our love, you know, towards each other, for, towards the brethren. All right. Real love, the real love is keeping the commandments. Yep. That's right. And these are the things we were commanded to do. All right. So it says, which he have showed toward his name. Yeah, that's right. His name, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. The Heavenly Father in the name of the Son. We have the name over here at Great Millstone. You clowns that keep lying and and, and, and pussyfooting, all right? Hey man, you're gonna be you're gonna be shown to be a liar in that in that day when it's all fully manifest, man. You know, that this that this is the truth, that these are the Lord's people. This is the elect, all right. It says, In that in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. Mm. That's right, man. We have to we have to give diligence to make our calling election sure. All right. Many are called, but few are chosen. OK. And we all hey, man, any 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 brother in a right mind want to be of that number. You know, we're moved with uh, by fear, like like our, our forefather Noah was, man, you know, to do to do the right thing. All right, cause hey man, the things that this that the Lord is about to bring on the, on the, um on this earth, man, is is is, is going to be unprecedented, man. It's going to be very fearful, you know. Hey man, you you gonna you gonna want to be on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's good side, you know. You're gonna want to want to receive mercy, all right, in that in that in that day of judgment, okay. So it says, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope. Unto the end That's right man You have to You have to strive For the truth Unto death And the most high Will fight for thee You know You have to You have to give it your all Alright You can't just uh, Go a day Or a week Or a month No, nah, man You have to hey, To death do us part Alright For the truth Unto death Yeah That's right man And and, and the, the apostle Tahar deemed this year uh, The year of death uh, Death destruction And diligence You know Hey man And that's That's, that's all that's coming here man and the only ones that's that's, that's uh, given di diligence is is chiefly the men of Great Millstone. All right, those who want to make their call and election sure. You know those those who are seeking to flee from these from these uh, um, horrible times that's coming here, man. And that's our hope. All right, that's what we expect, man. We expect if we maintain our faith and our works to the very end, that the Lord will deliver us, like He said. All right, because the Lord is not a man that he shall lie, and He's not unright unrighteous. To forget our our, our um our labor of love. Our work and labor of love, man. You know? So hey man, it's it's all it's all gonna be worth it, man. Alright? So if if you want to add anything. Nah, man. Yeah, man. Dude, man. Just bros gotta just stay in the spirit, man, because that, that door um that door, door the fence, fence is closing. The great great spirit is really coming to coming to an end soon and you can see that, seeing yep. everything that's going on. So you gotta just Tighten up It'd be on point Really That's right The tempter is always out here man Like the Apostle Gabar was going into uh, The studio show you did last night With the brother uh, Elder Elder Manatazak Hey man Just know Satan is always in the midst man You know You should be bugging out If you if you think otherwise Alright So the tempter is always out there Looking to tempt the men of the Lord You know So we have to stay Stay um, Girded in these scriptures Keep that full arm, body armor on all right, you know, and we need days like this, man. Not even just on Day of Atonement, man. Days when when brothers are really plagued in the spirit. You need you need days where you where you fast. All right, fast from from food, water. All right, or uh, certain things, certain things that you that you may be overindulging in. You know that, that all goes with examining yourself, like the scriptures say. You know, and, and prayer and faith. All right, and the, and the Akyam. All right, brothers, to pray for you, and ultimately Yahweh Shai is making intercession for us, man. So it's all covered on 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 all four all four uh, spectrums, man. All the way around the box, so to speak. So yeah, uh, hopefully you uh, you brothers, man, had a beautiful day of atonement, you know, and, and brothers' spirits were were strengthened. All right, you know, uh, we put our best foot forward, man. Continue this battle, Jake. Almost out of here, man. And, and um, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, uh, uh, may Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai be with you brothers out there in Houston, man. All right.
why these why this uh why that flood is going on okay yeah so with that we want to give all praises to yahweh by shem, shem yahweh shai double honor to our apostle elders a great millstone and shalom to your brothers that's preaching this word in sincerity and truth hey shalom Makyam. shalom